Hi, this is Wallace from Capturing Reality with another quick tip for you about image downscaling in meshing. Now here we've got my high detail model. That's what you get if you click high detail. Now high detail does not use any downscaling at all, but it takes a long time. Um, in this case, only 34 minutes, but imagine if I had 10,000 images rather than 134 images, it would take a couple of days. So by default, most people will use normal detail and normal detail uses an image downscale of two. That is the default setting. So let's click on that model there and you can see we've had a big drop in quality, but it's so fast, seven minutes and 42 um, seconds in comparison. So you might be thinking, uh, I don't want to wait two days for my mesh, but I would like it a little bit um, better quality. Um, so, you know, maybe I'll wait one day for my mesh. Um, yeah, you can go in between. Um, so in this case, I've called this 30 million because the setting I've used is I set image down to scale to one, um, which is equivalent to the high detail, but I've used this maximal depth map pixels count as 30 million. Now, this is specific to my camera because it is 60 megapixels. Um, so it's uh, using um, half the amount of pixels for the depth maps. And you can see here, I do have a quality which was somewhere in between. Um, yeah, you would get a lot nicer normal map out of these two models rather than the, um, the default normal detail model. And obviously you can set that um, setting to whatever um, value you like um, this one here. I'm just going to reset this panel. Let's just reset that to the default and you can see that is the default image down scale 2 and that's set to naught. Um, I th that means just use the image down scale instead. Um, so I'll just show you an image down scale of 3 um, because it is significantly faster again. Um, 3 minutes and 3 seconds. Now um, this isn't just going to keep happening that it just gets that much faster every time. Um, soon enough you'll just get a worse mesh without that big a speed up but i would encourage you to do your own experimentations as this is not a massively scientific experiment but it shows you how to speed up your mesh and the kind of quality hits you're going to take so thank you very much for watching and goodbye